I'd like to showcase some of the different scenarios where it's appropriate and where it isn't appropriate to use heavy shot. There seems to be a lot of confusion whether the extra damage is worth the decrease in range and accuracy that you suffer while using heavy shot, so I've tested this extensively and, and I'm fairly confident in the results that I've gotten over several dozens of tests. So I'll show you some of the testing I've done here. I'm going to send these noble horse archers over to fire at shield bearers and the reason I chose shield bearers is because they have some of the best armor and shield combination in the game with 45 shield and 70 armor for a total of 115 so it's going to be very difficult to take them down with arrows and that's just the type of scenario that that uh, heavy shot was designed for so I'm just going to keep shooting into the front of these these uh, shield bearers stay fairly close and keep pouring fire into them so I'm going to turn off fire at will I'm going to run away so I don't reach the red line of the map just yet turn fire at will back on you can see I'm running out of arrows already because I have a fairly quick rate of fire with seven shots per minute with these noble horse archers Let's have a look at the kills. Now these shield bearers are running and they have very good shields, so uh, it would look a bit different if these guys were standing around and I was able to shoot at their backs and their flanks, but I'm out of ammo and I got 18 kills, which is a fairly good result compared to some of the other numbers I've seen, but usually it's somewhere in the neighborhood between 13 and sometimes up to 20, but not very often, depending on angles and such. So we'll do a rematch. This time the Noble Horse Archers will be using their heavy shot. So here we go. Heavy shot. Um, what you'll see now is that the range drops to only 100. Uh, the amount of the firing rate stays the same. They get a bonus of 5 extra damage, but a bonus of 4 extra armor piercing damage. So let's see if that makes uh, enough of a difference that it's worth using heavy shot against heavily armored and heavily shielded infantry. So we're going to keep shooting at their front here. Run away. At first, because of the hit point mechanic, they won't take many casualties, but then the casualties will start to pile up fairly well. Okay, so we're we have half our ammunition left, and we're already beating the um, we're already close to beating standard ammunition. Now we all have killed as many as with standard ammunition, and now it's rising pretty quickly in favor of the heavy shot. So okay, so now we have killed twice as many men with heavy shot than we did with standard arrows. Um, let's see, have a look at the final results. The final score is 51 kills for heavy shot versus 18 kills for standard ammunition. So you are getting close to three times as many kills with heavy shot against these shield bearers when they, while they are on the move and while the horse archers are on the move. So pretty substantial difference there. Now, in a scenario where you don't necessarily want to have reduced accuracy and range, would be against other skirmishers, of course. Because that will enable you to get off less volleys, while the opponent is going to be able to get off more volleys and be more accurate if you are using a heavy shot and he isn't. So, I'm going to go Parthia against Parthia. And we're going to pit noble horse archers up against each other. Now both of these guys have very good armor. So my my um, my computer opponent probably isn't going to use heavy shot here. So I'm going to use heavy shot, and I'm going to keep an eye out for if my opponent uses precision shot. So I'm going to use precision shot at the same time. We're going to start the battle. And I have heavy shot on. 
going to start attacking him. If he uses precision shot, I'm going to activate it. And he activates precision shot, so I'm going to do so as well. And here we go. So stationary against skirmishers. Now, of course, these guys could just stay out of my range and do a bit better. But we'll see how it goes. But as you can see, it's it's fairly close. It's very close. I'm, I'm getting a few more kills than, than he is while we are stationary. But again, he, the, the AI could have just stayed out of my range here. And I would have to chase after him and he could get a lot more shots in. But it's it's fairly close. So if you're able to if you're able to get in range with heavy shot, heavy shot will defeat uh, a similar unit that isn't using heavy shot in most cases. So the decreased range and accuracy is only a factor if you're moving and if the enemy unit is able to stay out of your range. If you are able to stay in range, you will in most cases be able to win when using heavy shot. Now of course against foot skirmishers this mechanic changes because against foot skirmishers you are going to be at the range disadvantage and you're going to get more missiles against you. So getting very close to foot skirmishers is not the best of ideas. What we're going to try here is I'm going to use a unit that has fairly lackluster armor which is the Carrion Axemen, they have 45 armor, 35 shield, which is decent, and only 10 base armor. So let's see what these Noble Horse Archers can do with and without heavy shot against this infantry unit. Alright, first we're going to use normal ammunition or standard arrows. And these carry and axemen should go down fairly quickly to arrow fire. They have good shields but very little armor and lower health than the shield bearers so that should pay a factor. I'm going to try to stay out of range of their javelins so they aren't able to kill any of my guys. And as you can see they are dying a lot quicker than the um, shield bearers did of course already down to 80 something man. And this is firing, most of the time firing on the move. You might be able to kill this entire unit here with standard arrows. So as you can see if there is, if uh, with a kind of a shield value of 35 and with with less armor then normal arrows are very very effective. They killed off that entire unit. So let's just for the uh, now we know that the standard arrows fired from the front can kill these carrion axemen fairly convincingly. But we'll see if we can manage to do the same with heavy shots. Preferably quicker. So here we go, here's the range of the heavy shot, pull out, running infantry, oh, they did manage, and here, that was actually quite cool that, that happened, they did manage to throw their javelins because I am closer when using heavy shot, so that is a factor to consider, it will be easier for infantry units to throw javelins when you are using heavy shot, so against javelin armed infantry, Heavy shot can be a bit of a problem because it's going to be hard to micro just outside of that 20 range that is the difference between being safe and able to fire and from being hit with javelin. So it takes a bit longer actually to kill them with uh, heavy shot when up against these carrion axemen with low armor, but it still kills the unit. So against heavily armored, heavily shielded opponents, heavy shot is vastly superior. Against light, fast, javelin armored infantry, you're better off using normal arrows. The fi uh, and against skirmishers, you're better off using normal arrows in most cases, because it will be easier to maneuver out of the range of the heavy shot, and it will be easier to hit with a longer range. Now, what we haven't tested 
is how these guys do against against um, quickly moving uh, quickly moving cavalry. Now let's have a, let's have a, the last test is going to be these noble horse archers. They are going to be up against. Let's try cavalry units without. Or we can just go for cataphracts because they are so beastly. Uh, they don't move too quickly, but quickly enough for the purposes of this test. Now it would obviously be different for very fast light melee or shock cavalry like the the um, Sarissa cavalry of Macedon. But we'll try the Parthian royal cataphracts. I think the the Sarissa cavalry should probably be able to catch these these uh, noble horse archers. But okay, first this is the last test. First, I'm going to use standard shot, and just it, it doesn't matter where I fire at these cataphracts from because they don't have shields, so all of their armor is just body armor. I was going to take quite some time to kill them here, and they. Well, they managed to catch some of my guys because they got the charge bonus, so that's poor micro for me. Uh, I just got a bit sloppy there. I'm going to try it again. Have a rematch. Because these uh, noble horse archers are not as fast as lighter horse archers. So we're going to have to do that again. Alright, hopefully this will going to turn off skirmish mode and turn them around using J. So the cataphracts shouldn't be able to catch them this time. And here we can see they are sta staying way well within my range with normal arrows. And cataphracts turn fairly slowly, so I want to try to use that to stay out of their range. Oh, come on, come on. Oh well. I'm going to manage to kill some of my guys, but I'm just going to let that pass. So, killed almost 10. Twenty, almost. And... Let's see. The final results are okay. So out of arrows, and I managed to kill 28 cataphracts with standard shots. So here we can see the uh, importance of of um, shields, because even though the the royal cataphracts have much more body armor and much more health than the shield bearers, I managed to kill more cataphracts with standard shot that I managed to kill shield bearers just because that shield value is so massively important because that's the only way rather that's the only way you can completely block missile damage if we're not counting misses as a way of doing that so heavy shot on just going to keep running away from these guys they're going to trample Lost one guy thus far. Going to just keep moving, not allow them to get off any shots while standing still. And now the, these cataphracts are actually going to. It's a bit more risky using heavy shot against cavalry because you have to be closer to be able to hit, and you're also suffering from uh, from um, to hit penalty. So let's see if that that negates the effects of having more armor penetration. Dying fairly quickly here. Now we have to consider to consider that I did lose a few men before, so that is going to be have to have to be taken into account. So I lost four guys in the previous test, but as you can see, using heavy shot allowed these noble horse archers to completely destroy a unit of cataphracts. So, just to do a quick summary here.
the biggest drawback with heavy shot is the reduced range. The reduced range means that you will potentially move your horse archers into the range of enemy javelins, into the range of charging cavalry, and into the range of more enemy skirmishers. Now, with these noble horse archers, it's not that big of a deal because they have 90 armor and 95 health, which is extremely good. But let's have a look at some slightly weaker horse archers or standard horse archers, which is what you see a lot of. Um, let's these just standard mercenary Scythian horse archers, for example. They have 10 armor and 70 health. These guys will die to missile fire like really really quickly so with these guys it's very important not to get hit by fire yourself and using heavy shot with horse archers like this is going to be in a situation where you're not taking fire you're not up against enemy infantry that has javelins or you're going to be able to micro very well or while being chased by very heavy cavalry so heavy shot is a circumstantial thing in if you're firing at infantry with low armor, it doesn't matter much, you'll kill them anyway. If you're firing at infantry with high armor, you really should be using heavy shot if you're able to get in range safely. That's the main thing with heavy shot. If you're able to get in range safely, heavy shot is more killy in most cases. Heavy shot takes down cataphracts faster, heavy shot takes down shield bearers faster. And the only thing you really have to think about is heavy shot will get your horse archers closer to the enemy. So hopefully that cleared up some of the confusion around heavy shot. As you can see the results are fairly convincing and I've done many more tests than this. But all the results clearly show from all angles and in all cases heavy shot is superior in all cases except for range. So you're trading killing, killing power for the safety of being able to stay further out of range. But another thing to consider is that firing from the very extremes of range is going to reduce your accuracy compared to firing from closer up. So that's another factor to consider. But hopefully this was useful and I'll see you again on the battlefield.